all right so let us look at coincidence constraints so i have made a vertical line over here now let us make another line in space now if i want this end of the line to be coincident to this line what i need to do is i need to select the point which i want uh, to be to coincide and then i need to select the line the line to which I need to coincide that point. So I need to select the point and line and then go to the constraints dialog box and select coincidence. So now this point has been coincided with this line and the line the line in space had, has been constrained to move only in the direction of the vertical line. So it can only move like this because this point has been constrained to this line. Now if I want this line to be constrained with the horizontal, I'm going to draw a horizontal line. So I select this point again. select the horizontal line go to the dialog box and coincidence so now I have this line which has uh, both the points are coinciding one with the vertical and one with the horizontal so this is basic coincidence constraint if you can see it is movable in on that line so that means the point is coinciding with the line now if I want the point to coincide with the point I need to select those two points till now we have seen point coincide with the line that that's why this point is moving but if I coincide this point with the point on the vertical then this point will become constraint and similarly if I constrain this point with the point on the horizontal this point also will become constraint and this line will become fully defined so let us do that this point and this point coincidence ok this point and this point coincidence ok so now both the points have coincided now I just need to give the dimension of the horizontal and vertical So that's how you define the line using the coincidence constraint. Now I could have given the coincidence of the point to point directly but that was just to uh, show you what can be achieved with coincidence both you can coincide line to point uh, as well as point to point. So this will be very useful in uh, making the geometry in Sketcher. So hope you found this useful. Thanks. See you in the next video.